Good morning. My name's Larry Hinckley. I'm Senior Technical Advisor for PowerWash.com. We're going to discuss troubleshooting unloaders and methods for determining whether you have an unloader problem and what you, how you need to go about testing it. In doing this, we're going to run this cold water pressure washer monitoring the pressure gauge. When we determine there's an issue, we're going to test it by two different methods. One of them being to pinch off this line, the bypass line, to see if it causes a needle to rise on the gauge. Another method we're going to remove this line where it hooks into the manifold, install a plug in the manifold so the water doesn't run out of the manifold. Then we're going to start the unit again and monitor that line to see if there's any water running out of it. If there's water running out of it, then we'll know we have an unloader problem. If there is no water running out of it, then we'll move on and look for other problems. We're, go we're going to start the machine. is removed. Now we're going to remove this hose barb. And replace it with a quarter inch pipe plug. Restart the engine. When you see that water running out of the line, as that was doing, that tells you you have a defective unloader. If the water had just dripped a time or two, that would be just residual water in the line. But when you have a steady flow of water, that tells you you have a defective unloader. Next thing to do is change the unloader valve. Okay, to remove the unloader, you start off by disconnecting the garden line. You turn off your water first, disconnect your garden hose, Remove your pressure hose. Be sure that all your pressure is relieved from the system. Then you need to remove, so this can be unscrewed, you need to remove all the auxiliary parts, starting with the inlet and going on around until you can unscrew this assembly and rescrew the new one on.
We've now installed a new unloader valve and we're going to adjust the unloader that we just installed. To do that, we'll need to start the engine, monitor the pressure, and start making adjustments until it comes back up to our desired pressure. And when we release the trigger, the needle goes up three to 400 PSI above our operating pressure. The unloader is now adjusted to where when you release the trigger, the needle jumps up to three to 400 PSI above the operating pressure. So our problem is solved. If you have any future questions about how to troubleshoot or install an unloader, please feel free to call us at 1-800 433-2113. That's 1-800-433-2113. Thank you.